In this lesson, we'll learn how to determine if a sequence is geometric. A sequence is considered geometric if the ratio between each consecutive term is common. Take, for example, the sequence of numbers found in this group. It goes from 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. If we can find a number that's multiplied from 2 to 4, and that same number, when multiplied to 4, gives you 6, then it is considered geometric. Now I know that to go from 2 to 4, it's a factor of 2. In other words, 4 divided by 2 gives us 2. If I multiply 4 by 2 and I get 6, then this could be considered a geometric sequence. Multiplying 4 times 2 gives me 8 and not 6. And another way to show you is if I take 6 divided by 4, I get 3 over 2. These two numbers are not common, therefore this is not geometric. What about the next group? We go from 2 over 3 to 4 over 9 to 8 over 16 and so on. Well, as you can see from 2 to 4, you can multiply 2 by 2 and you end up with 4. And multiplying 3 by 3 gives you 9. So there's a possibility that the common ratio here is 2 over 3. Let's see if that works for 4 over 9. Multiplying 4 by 2 does give me 8. And 9 times 3 gives me 27. Let's try once more for good measure. 8 times 2 gives us 16, and 27 times 3 gives us 81. Therefore, this is geometric. Finally, in this last example, it goes from 12 to negative 6, to positive 3, to negative 3 over 2, and so on. How do we go from 12 to negative 6? Well, I can always take negative 6 and divide it by 12. I end up with negative 0 0.5. If I take negative 6, and multiply it to negative 0 0.5, and I get 3, then this is a geometric sequence. And as you can tell, multiplying negative 6 times negative 0 0.5 does give us positive 3. Another way to look at it is if I take 3 divided by negative 6, I get, again, negative 0 0.5. That's a common constant that is used throughout each term. And there you have it. That is how to determine if a sequence is geometric.